Hey, Trail Kreitzer at GoHunt.com. Uh, today you can see I'm here in my office, um, but I wanted to do a gear review for you um, from some of the socks that we carry in the gear shop. Uh, hopefully you've all started doing some research and looking into the type of footwear that you want to take on your hunt. Um, I think a lot of people look at boots and shoes, but maybe not a ton of people spend a bunch of time looking at socks, which is super important, obviously, because that's the, you know, the contact point between your, your feet and your boot. Um, so if you haven't spent time looking at socks, um, I would suggest you do so. Uh, it's interesting to me, I have a lot of people that will say to me, you know, 25 or you know, even 30 bucks for a pair of socks is a lot of money to spend on a pair of socks. But, and it is, I'm not going to lie, but a good pair of quality socks is going to pay dividends uh, in the long run. So a good pair of socks is actually going to last you a long time. Uh, I've got darn tough socks that I've had for five years and I'm still using them every day. So. You know, 30 bucks for a pair of socks you're gonna have for five years is a pretty decent investment. Uh, the other thing I wanted to touch on is pairing socks with shoes. So the type of socks, uh, depending on the weight of the sock, the features of the socks uh, with different types of shoes that we carry in the gear shop. So that's why I have a couple of, of options for you out here. Uh, I'm gonna start on the left side, kind of work through some options. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know, at the end of this, please feel free to drop us a comment below and, you know, love to take care of those. But first and foremost, I'm going to jump into some of the early season options, uh, options that I think are great to pair with an early season boot or a shoe. So a lightweight hiker, if you're talking some of the ultra shoes that we're, we're carrying, maybe the Olympus, uh, the Tusher, um, you know, maybe the drop line from Salewa, which is a, an early season lightweight hiker or running shoe. Uh, we carry a bunch of early season lightweight hikers and some socks that I would suggest that would be a good pairing for those um, are a couple of these that I have on the end here. So this one right here is a Farm Defeat Damascus Lightweight. We actually carry this sock in a lightweight and a medium weight. This is the lightweight version which I think makes a great pairing with a early season hiking shoe like the drop line. Uh, I've been running these together for the last couple of weeks uh, when I've been scouting mule deer and they've worked great. It's a really good combo. Uh, it's about the right weight for an early season sock. It's going to breathe really, really well. It's not going to make your feet overly hot. Uh, I do like these farm to feet socks. Like I said, um, you know, 100% merino wool made in America. Uh, this is a really high quality pair of socks. You do have these uh, this middle elastic section that kind of runs through the middle of the sock that's going to lock your foot in place. Uh, many of these socks have that. I'm going to touch on it briefly. I won't spend a bunch of time, but you, you can look for that in a pair of socks. Uh, what that's going to do is going to lock your foot in place so the sock, the sock is not going to shift around uh, in your boot. You may end up having to make a slight adjustment midday, but for the most part, this sock is not going to move around and shift on you. Uh, I love this Damascus lightweight uh, sock. I think it's a great pairing for an early season hiking shoe or a boot. Uh, another option for you for early season hunting is this uh, Hunter Micro Crew from Darn Tough. Uh, similar to Farm Defeat, uh, Darn Tough is American made in Vermont. Um, we have a great relationship with Darn Tough Socks and uh, I'm a huge fan of Darn Tough Socks. I've got tons of pairs of, of these Darn Toughs. This makes a great pairing as well um, for early season hunts and an early season hiking shoe or a boot. Uh, this has slightly more cushion than the Damascus Lightweight. So if you're looking for a little bit of added cushion, uh, especially through the heel and the toe, this is a great option. Once again, you've got this middle section that's going to lock your foot in place. This is a crew version, so it's going to be shorter than some of the other socks that I'll touch on here in a second. Uh, this is great if you've got a shorter boot or a shoe. Uh, you don't need a sock that goes clear up mid-calf, so this is a great option. Uh, this is the Darn Tough Hunter Micro Crew. That's a great early season sock. Uh, moving into some of uh, your do-everything types of socks, maybe your mid to you know early to mid-season types, and maybe even to some, some late season options. We have the uh, Darn Tough uh, 2011 Hunter Sock. So the 2011 is a cushion sock. Uh, we get asked all the time, what's the difference between a cushion and a full cushion? So the cushion sock, you've primarily got portions of cushioning through the heel and the toe. You do have some cushion here through the middle, but it's not nearly as much as you get in the 2012, which is a full cushion sock. 
Uh, when do you use one over the other? Uh, I would suggest that uh, mid-season hunts, when it maybe is you know moderate temperatures, I'm thinking like mid-season rifle, mule deer, mid-season elk, maybe even some archery elk towards the end of September. Uh, this 2011 sock is a great choice. Uh, this is my personal favorite sock, I think, that we have in the gear shop, which is this 2011 uh, by Darn Tough. Um, I've actually worn this sock consecutively for 10 full days. Uh, never took it off. I was hunting elk in New Mexico, and I was sleeping every night in this sock, which would dry it out at night inside my sleeping bag. You know, get up and go after it the next day. And, you know, I actually wore this sock, like I said, for 10 straight days. Never a hot spot, never a blister wicks moisture extremely well, uh, which all these socks will do. Uh, and that's an important feature of these Merino socks. So one of my personal favorites, Darn Tough 2011 cushion sock. Uh, moving into a full cushion sock, like I said, we have the 2012. Uh, when would you use a full cushion sock? Um, if you feel like you need the added cushion through your foot, if your feet get sore, if you're covering a lot of miles during the day and you get sore feet, uh, the full cushion is a nice option. Uh, if you got a pair of boots that maybe are slightly too much volume in them for you, if you have uh, maybe a narrow foot, the uh, full cushion can add some volume to uh, your foot and kind of fill up that toe box of your boot. So that's a great option, this 2012. Um, it's also great, I would say it's, it adds some added warmth. So like mid to late season type of hunts when you're covering a bunch of ground. Uh, this is a great option. Um, this would be a great pairing for a boot like this Wyoming GTX by Crispy. Some of the other boots that we have in the gear shop that might work really well with this would be like the Crispy Nevada, the Crispy Guide boot, uh, maybe the Salewo Rapache would be another addition uh, that would be good to this. Um, some of the Schnee's boots, so the Schnee's Beartooth or the Schnee's Timberline, even for some early season stuff where you need some, you know, if you want some added cushion, that'd be a great pairing. Um, moving into uh, farm to feet, this is the farm to feet midway option. This is a, a hunting sock from their hunting line. They call this one the Ely. Uh, it's probably not as feature rich as the Damascus line of socks that we have from farm to feet, but this is a really nice do everything hunting sock. Uh, if you look at it, you can see that it is a mid calf sock, so it's taller than the Damascus going to add uh, some added length to the sock. If you're a guy that likes a taller boot, so if you're running a crispy guide boot or a Schnee's bear tooth or maybe a Loa uh, Hunter, this is a great sock option for you because you do get the added length up your calf. Um, once again, you've got that mid portion. It's going to lock your feet in. You've got cushion through the bottom of it. Um, I've got a couple of pair of these uh, Ely socks and I wear those typically, like I said, you know, mid to late season types of hunts, uh, especially if you're running a tall boot. Um, makes a great pair with a tall leather boot. Uh, the last company that we carry for socks is Kenetrek, and we do carry a number of socks from Kenetrek in different weights. Uh, today I have a mid-weight version, which is the uh, Montana sock. Um, it's a Merino poly blend, uh, which is a great blend for both uh, offering you know, the benefits of merino. You're not going to get blisters. It moves moisture extremely well, uh, but also with some poly fibers, uh, which is going to give you some added wear over the length of this sock. It's going to wear really well. It's not going to wear out. Um, the other addition uh, that you get with some poly in this is that it dries extremely quick. Uh, we've had really good luck with the uh, Kinetrek socks. This makes a great pairing, obviously, with Kinetrek boots, but we, we have a number of other boots in the gear shop that it works really well with. Uh, I would suggest this, this sock from Kinetrek, the Montana, uh, kind of fits a similar frame as either the Ely or maybe uh, the 2011 by Darn Tough. You know, you could pair that with a lot of your traditional hunting and hiking boots, whether that's the, uh, you know, crispy Wyoming or Idaho, you know, or some of the other options that we have in the gear shop. This is a great pairing. Um, you know, people ask, you know, should I get a farm to feet sock? Should I get a darn tough sock? Should I get a Kinetrek sock? Um, really, it kind of comes down to like personal preference. Um, they all make good socks. Uh, some of the features that I like about the darn tough they do have a lifetime warranty. They will replace this sock if you get a hole in them. Uh, I have darn tough socks that I've had for, like I said, you know, six, seven years that I'm still running the exact same sock. Uh, I do find that this Farm Defeat company is a real high quality company in sock. I really like these. 
uh, Kinetrek makes great socks. They make great boots. So, you know, take a look at those. Um, we do have some late season socks and maybe we'll do another video in the future that we, we touch on some of the cold weather stuff for really pushing you into that late November, um, maybe third and fourth season Colorado deer hunting when you need a real, you know, heavy duty cushion, heavy weight sock to keep your feet warm. Um, but this is a, a pretty good selection of what we have in the gear shop. Certainly we have more socks available, uh, but I did want to touch on some of the more popular options that we carry in the gear shop. Uh, as with everything, I would love to answer any of your questions. If you, you know, you want to know about socks, I'm a sock geek. It's embarrassing. I've got so many pairs of socks. Uh, I've tried just about every sock on the market, I think. Uh, you have before you right here some of my very favorite options. So hopefully that helps you with being able to select a sock for your hunts this year. Um, all of these are available in the gear shop right now. Um, don't wait jump in the gear shop right now, get you some socks and some boots and be prepared. It's hard to believe, but hunting season is right around the corner.